Hello friends, thank you so much for being here. Today's video is inspired by a recent makeup trend that's been floating around TikTok, started by, or presumably started by, popularized by Hailey Bieber. It's the Strawberry Girl makeup. I'm going to be doing my own version of the Strawberry Girl makeup. So if you wanna see how I get from this to this, then let's go. As always, everything, all the makeup products that I'm going to be using will be listed in the description box down below. I always start with eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer Plus 4% Niacinamide and let that sink in while we do the eyes. I am going to set down that eye primer with some of my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder. I hopped off camera just to figure out the eye situation. Most people don't even really put on eyeshadow for this look, but I saw one where someone did like a really thin, smoky brown liner. So that's kind of what I did um, with my own additions. On this channel, we support tape. <laughs> Tape fixes absolutely everything. I'm mostly gonna be using mattes from the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette, and then I have one of the new Rare Beauty Weightless Eyeshadow Sticks. That's the little shine right here. First, I went into one of the lightest mattes in the palette. This one's called Hypnotic. It's just a very light brown. And I threw that all into the crease. Next, I took an angled brush. This one is from Shop Miss A, actually. It's the E116 from Shop Miss A. And I went into this swirly, creamy, it's matte, but it's like a swirly, creamy kind of shade. This one is called Hard. And I just use this as the creamy base. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at the corner of my eye where it's meeting the tape and start to lay down some color there. And I am gonna flick it out and then I back blend so I go the other way onto the lid just a little bit, but I'm not gonna bring any of the eyeliner actually in the middle of my eye or in the inner. I'm just gonna keep it focused right on the outside like that. Next, I took the Naughty shade. This is one of the deepest shades in the palette. And I basically just use this to set down that cream, just going over top. And lastly, I took this darker kind of burgundy purple color called Untamed and focusing it mostly right where the corner of my eye meets that tape. And I do want to diffuse the top of that line to make it not as harsh. So I'm taking a LBE6, this is a small smudge brush from Lunar Beauty. I'm going back into that first light brown hypnotic shade and I'm going to very lightly just blend over top of that. And I did fill in this inner part of my lid with the lightest matte shade that this one is called Filthy. And this is a Sigma flat shader A54. I'm gonna take that first blender brush that we started with and just very lightly go over everything. Cute, now for the little pop of shimmer. So I started by putting some in the inner corner and these do set down. So I'm taking a little small precision brush. This one's from e.l.f. And I'm going to quickly blend that. With this product, I find it best to work in layers. So yeah, this is all we're doing for the eyes for now. I'm gonna wait to do mascara after setting spray. I'm using my She Glam foundation balms today. I know it looks pretty crazy right now, but this is where you gotta trust the process. Okay, so we've blended out the foundation balm with a brush. I always, always like to go in with a sponge, especially with this specific product, just to add 
some hydration back into the skin and just to make sure we don't have any streak marks. For concealer, I'm just gonna take my Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer. And I really like this shade because it's really not that brightening. It's more of like a skin tone kind of shade. And I'm not looking for anything dramatic for this kind of look, just something that blends in more so with my natural skin tone. I'm only gonna use powder right underneath my eyes, right in my eye bag where the crease actually is. I'm not gonna set any of underneath. I'm not gonna set like anywhere else on my face. I'm just gonna leave it natural as it is. I'm taking that smudger brush from Lunar Beauty from before with a little bit of my cherry blossom powder and just gonna put it right here. Okay, now we are looking like this. I'm going to take my bronzer, the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I've been in such a phase with this one. It's the only one I've been using. I'm not gonna go too ham with the bronzer because blush is really the focal point, really the star of this look, and the blush is going to provide some more color and warmth to the face. So I'm just going to lightly bronze. And basically what that looks like for me is with my bronzer, I'm gonna concentrate it more so in the very back of my face and kind of go up and down vertically rather than bring it in. Okay, now for my favorite part, the star of the show, which is blush i have a couple options so obviously strawberries are red so i do have a red blush this is strawberry from m cosmetics so there's a swatch of that right there it's a just very typical like cherry kind of red and then i have this blush from milk makeup this isn't actually red like directly red it's more of like a sunburnt kind of red brick shade and this is quirk this is quirk from milk makeup so i'm probably going to use a little bit of both of these specifically with my liquid blushes i've been loving mixing in my about face light lock fluid in shaken or stirred this is my favorite favorite liquid slash cream highlighter of all time. So directly into my palm, I'm going to put a pretty generous amount of that strawberry shade. I'm gonna shake up my light lock fluid and you only need the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit of this because it's so potent and so shimmery. So I'm just gonna put like literally that much. I'm gonna start right here i'm grabbing more of that mixture gonna go on the other side now i'm gonna take my blush brush this is from it cosmetics and just pat over like that Ooh, that's cute that's cute i love that blush placement it's very <laughs> and of course i can't forget the nose just put a little bit right there and i like that by adding in that light lock fluid it makes the blush formula more malleable because it is a liquid and it does add a really nice glow that just makes you look so healthy and fresh i'm a little strawberry i'm going to add some on my chin and across my forehead as well. Just because I want to be extra, I will add a little bit of that quirk, sunburned kind of shade. I'm just going to dab a little bit in the center. And I'll add a little bit on the forehead, why not? I went ahead and did brows off camera. Y'all know I use the same two products every single time and it's it's the same thing every single time. So nobody really needs to see that. Next is another very integral part of the Strawberry Girl makeup, faux freckles. I was not blessed having a lot of my own freckles. So we're gonna fake it. And I finally got like the freckle product, the Freck XL, the original freckle maker. I wanted to see what's tea. I wanted to see what's good because everyone and their mama has been talking about this for like a really long time and this stuff is not cheap. This little thing 
is like $28. And if I'm being completely honest, y'all, I'm not sure if I would say it's worth like $28. Like it, it does what it needs to do, but I don't know if it's like revolutionary enough to really say it's worth $28, cause that's $28. So I like to just do a couple dots at a time, let that set for a couple seconds, and then I will go over with my finger just to blend it in and make it more lived in looking. Another thing, I don't know if this is across the board with all freckle products, but I know with this, if you are sweating, if you get any kind of water liquid around, you will get like little streaks if the freckles do get wet. So just keep that in mind. I definitely think this is way better over top makeup because the makeup is something to really grip onto, especially if you're using a primer as well. So I am going to be using my setting spray, of course. I want to lock this in, especially before putting on mascara, but just be careful. Don't spray too much and don't spray too close to your face. I'm actually not going to wear lashes for this look. I know. Earth shattering, groundbreaking news. I'm gonna take my eyelash curler. This one is from Shop Miss A. And I'm using my Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. I'm doing a very light layer of mascara, basically enough to coat them and tint them so they do stand out against my eye, but I don't want these to be dramatic or really build them up that much. So I'm not gonna use any lower lash mascara. I think this looks really cute and flirty and pretty and light, which is what we're going for. But I do wanna put a little bit of that Rare Beauty eyeshadow stick on the bottom lash line directly below where we put it on top. So just in the middle, just something like that, something very subtle. And then I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner for my skin tone and put that on the lower lash line. Okay, and we've made it to the last step, which is lips, and you guys know, I always got options for you guys. But first, I'm going to line my lips with the Moira Must Have Lip Liner in Warm Toast. I quickly did a swatch of everything, just so, can help me make a decision. So this is the Cezanne, this is the Unleashia, and then it's kind of hard to see, but this kind of clearish gloss that is the NYX Fat Oil. I'm thinking the Cezanne one is probably the vibe because it does have a bit of shine as well. I don't want my lips to be matte at all. And these are lip stains, very, very similar. Basically a dupe for the Rare Beauty tint lip oils, just way, way cheaper. And honestly, I actually prefer this formula. So I'm gonna let that settle down a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that blush stick and strawberry that we used earlier. And I'm going to place that right in the center. Okay, let me fix my hair and zoom out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this, is the final look. I feel like a strawberry. If you liked this look, if you want to see more tutorials, get ready with these from me, then like, comment, subscribe. You already know the drill. I'm sending you guys so, 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 so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one.